Well, hi, knickknackers. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today, instead of a canning project, I am going to be working on making dessert for dinner. So um, I saw a recipe on um, YouTube of a gal who is making, I think she called it peaches and cream pie. I'll have to check. I'll link to her video. Um, I'm not following exactly her video. Um, I'm going to follow one that I found on uh, all recipes, and I'll link you to that one as well. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a jar of my strawberries and syrup that I canned, and I believe I brought you guys along for this. Um, and, you know, you never know ideas that you can get from your canned goods. So the one that I, um, I saw on Facebook was with strawberry jello, I believe. Um, and I don't, I don't use, not Facebook, on YouTube, I don't use strawberry jello, and not that I'm opposed to it, but I, that's just not something that I have on hand. But I thought, you know what, I do have canned strawberries in syrup. So there's the sugar, there's the um, strawberries, and all I have to do is thicken it up a little bit. So um, what I'm going to do is I have them all in here, and they were sliced, and they were, they sat in sugar and built up all of their own juices. So all of this is sugar and juice from the strawberries themselves. Beautiful and so amazing. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm going to put in, a tablespoon might be too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a tablespoon anyway. Um, sprinkle that in there. I don't think it's gonna be too little uh, because I'm not sure that there's a full cup of liquid in there but I, I think that it might be a little bit might make it a little firmer than what I was thinking but what you want to do is you want to make sure you get that cornstarch well incorporated in there before you um, turn the heat on otherwise you're gonna have clumps your other option is to make it as a slurry with a tablespoon of the um, cornstarch and a tablespoon of water and you can do it that way as well so let's get that mixed around in there Yeah, I think honestly making a slurry would probably be easier. Mental note, next time make a slurry. Oop, and I see one of those little bitty mats. The fruit comes out, so here they come too. All right, I think I just about, oop, there's another one. I don't want any big clumps. Little ones I can kind of handle, I think, but I don't want any big clumps in there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that on the um, stove and I'm gonna turn, well, I think I will just turn it on high. Now, one thing that we do wanna do is just like, this is just like when you're making a gravy. Um, you don't want to just leave this sitting without tending to it because that fruit and that sugar will burn right to the bottom of the pan. And I don't think it's gonna take very long for this to thicken up. Because honestly, even in the jar, it was pretty, those strawberries are pretty densely packed in there. So as I see, there's another clump there. I'll try to work my way around before it gets too hot and work all those out. And that should, you see how it's kind of cloudy in there from the uh, cornstarch? That should go away as it um, the cornstarch is activated. Should kind of clear up and we should get a nice clear, 
strawberry gravy, we'll say. starting to bubble. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit because I don't want it to be totally high. I don't know if you guys are starting to see a difference in that color. see how much thicker that got so what we're going to do now is now we have to let this cool because the dessert we're going to be pouring this on um, we don't want it to be hot strawberries we want them to be cool strawberries so I'm going to go ahead and cover this so if that little neck comes around it doesn't fly in there and we'll let that cool off and as that cools that also will thicken even more which will make it really nice for spreading across the top of our cream pie so once we are ready to assemble the cream pie, we will be back. All right, so our strawberry glaze is cooling off. It's actually cooled off now. So we're going to go ahead and start making the cream part of our pie. And that is going to call for a... Oh, this says one four ounce package. I think this is an eight ounce pack. It is, guess what? I'm using eight ounces. We'll see if I regret that later. All right, and to that, I am going to add, let's see, half a cup of confectioner sugar. Is that right? I better look at that again. I think that might need to go in the, let's see. Oh no, that's all right, okay. So the half a cup of confectioner sugar or powdered sugar is what I've always done it by. And I didn't get my measuring stuff out beforehand. I apologize. So I think what I might do is actually start kind of creaming that a little bit. And then I'll put in my vanilla extract to kind of loosen it up a bit. Let's see, that is going to be a teaspoon. because I added the whole eight ounces instead of uh, the other. So the confectioner sugar, half a cup, to start adding that in. So what I'm going to 
start doing here is just to thin it out just a little bit because we know how confectioner sugar is. A little bit of moisture goes a long, long way. There we go. That's, that's looking better. All right, that looks a little bit better. Oh, it does look like there's some that's not quite mixed up yet, but that's okay. Because we're going to take this out. Let me see if I can. Oh, there is. Okay. better okay I'm gonna grab a bowl out of here and we're gonna scrape this into this bowl because now we're gonna need to beat our whipping cream so I'm just gonna empty this in here just as a holding place while I do the whipping cream. It didn't quite get mixed up as much as I would have liked, but we'll see if that's gonna work. You never know until you try, right? All right, I think that's good there. We'll get our beater back on. And now we get one cup of whipping cream. And whipping cream, you need to beat very, very quickly. So there's one. And this is just a half cup. So that's why I'm putting two in. All right, we're gonna close that up. And we are just going to start beating the living daylights out of it. Oh, you can see it starting to firm up now. There it goes. All right, so let's look at how that looks. Oh, that looks fantastic. Okay, so now what we need to do is take this other mixture and we need to start mixing it in with this mixture. Still some on the side there, and there's some more here. We'll get that down in there. And we're almost, we're almost there, guys. Three more seconds. All right, I think that's good. I don't want to do it so much that it loses all that air that we've just pumped into it. So. 
that is going to be good. And what we'll do now, let me, okay, let's get this off. And, oh, that's good. You want to try it? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Crazy. Everybody likes to lick the batter. Well, apparently not everybody. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I bought a graham cracker crust. The uh, recipe actually calls for a regular pie crust, which I think would be delicious, but with a cream cheesy kind of feel to me and a cream cheesy, a cheesecakey kind of feel to me. I thought that the graham cracker crust, oh, oh no, no. I knew it was broken, but I, oh no. Well, you know what? We're just gonna make it work. Bummer, dude. And honestly, I think using the eight ounces of cream cheese was good because this is a really sweet um, base here. And I think the eight ounces probably helped tone that down a little bit. All right, so let's spread that around. And I think that'll be okay. It still feels a little low on this side. Okay. All right, and then. What we'll do is we will take. strawberry mixture that has been cooling it's nice and cool now and we are going to spoon this over the top I don't know if I'm going to be using the whole thing and I'm just making a mess everywhere story of my life And honestly, I think that is going to be enough for the cake or the pie. I think that's going to be good because it's already up there a little ways. Little spot for that white there. And one there. Maybe a little one there. All right. And we are going to put this lid on and stick it in the fridge and let it cool for a couple of hours while I get to making our dinner tonight, which is gonna be lasagna. So we'll bring you back when we're cutting it and we'll have one of us do a taste test for you. So we have had our dinner and it was amazing. Mouse Toes and Paul are really onto something with that uh, pepperoni in the lasagna so if you guys haven't tried that um, look for my video and I'm gonna make sure to link them in it but now we are moving on to dessert so this has been sitting for man I don't know probably four or five hours now so I'm gonna go ahead and cut through that
And remember, I broke the uh, crust already, so I already know it's going to be falling apart. But you know what? It's still going to taste delicious. All right. So let me, well, let me get a fork here to get it out, hopefully. Oh, yum. Look at that. Didn't that set up beautifully? Mmm, yum. All right, so let me get these other ones out on the plate. And then, Becca, do you want a taste test? No. No? Okay. Then I guess that means I have to. The taste tester gets two pieces. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Mmm, that turned out so good. Looks good. All right, well, I'll take a little bite. Mmm, that is delicious. So, we're going to go enjoy the rest of our dessert. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I enjoyed making, and now I'm going to go enjoy eating. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.